Hello and welcome to our tutorial on longleaf pine seed stratification and planting. I'm Wendy with the Hohe Cultural Burn and Reforestation Program and today we'll be walking you through the crucial steps of preparing and planting longleaf pine seeds for reforestation efforts. Longleaf pine forests once covered vast areas of the southeastern United States stretching from Virginia to Texas. These forests weren't just a collection of trees, but a complex ecosystem that has been integral to Native American communities for thousands of years. Today, they've been reduced to a fraction of their original range, which is why reforestation programs like ours are so important. In this video, we'll cover two main processes, seed stratification and planting. Let's get started. Let's talk about stratification. This is a pretreatment process that mimics the natural conditions that seeds would experience in the wild. For longleaf pine seeds, stratification breaks their dormancy and improves germination rates. Without this step, many seeds might not even sprout at all. Stratification is crucial because it can increase the germination rate from about 10% to an impressive 70 to 90%. For our stratification process, it's going to look a little bit different. You will need fresh longleaf pine seeds less than a year old, a large bowl or container of water, peat moss, sand, or a paper towel, a sealable plastic bag, a refrigerator, and a spray bottle for misting. First, we're going to have to look at our seed selection. You want to start by selecting a healthy longleaf pine seed. Look for the seeds that are plump, dark brown, and free from cracks or insect damage. Fresh seeds less than a year old work the best. You want to place your seeds in a bowl of room temperature water. Let them soak for about 24 hours. This is going to help soften the seed coat and jumpstart the germination process. After soaking, discard any seeds that float as they're likely not viable options. You're going to want to drain the water and mix the seeds with moist peat moss or sand or paper towel if that's your best option. Place this mixture in a sealable plastic bag with a small air hole for ventilation. Now, put the bag into your refrigerator. The ideal temperature is around 35 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 1 to 4 degrees Celsius. Keep the seeds in your refrigerator for about 30 to 60 days. Check them weekly to ensure that the mixture stays moist and to look for any signs of early germination or mold. If the mixture seems dry, lightly mist it with water. If you do see mold, remove those seeds immediately. After the stratification period, you may notice that some seed coats have cracked slightly or that the root tip has begun to emerge. These seeds should feel firmer and slightly swollen. These are all good signs that stratification has been successful. It's best to plant your stratified seeds immediately. If you need to delay any planting, you can store them at 35 to 40 degrees for up to a week. When you're ready to plant, bring the seeds to room temperature gradually to avoid shock. For the planting process, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your stratified longleaf pine seeds, a planting container or a prepared outdoor bed, well-draining potting sole or native sole, watering cans or a hose that has a fine spray nozzle, labels or markers if you're planting in a container, site selection. Choose a planting site that receives full sun, at least six hours of direct sunlight daily. Longleaf pines thrive in well-draining, slightly acidic soil with a pH between 5.5 and 6.5. Native American communities often chose similar sites for their own agricultural practices, recognizing the fertility and sustainability of these areas. Soil preparation. For outdoor planting, clear the area of weeds and loosen the top six inches of soil. If your soil is poor, consider amending it with an organic matter. For container planting, use pots at least 6 inches deep with drainage holes, filled with a well-draining potting mix. You want to plant your seeds about a fourth to a half of an inch deep. A good rule of thumb is to plant at a depth equal to the width of the seed. If planting multiple seeds, space them out about 6 to 12 inches apart to give them room to grow. For larger reforestation projects, aim for about 600 seeds per acre. The best time to plant is typically in late fall or early winter in most southeastern regions. This allows the roots to establish before the summer heat arrives. You want to water your planted seeds gently but very thoroughly immediately after you are done planting them. You want to keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged. In the following weeks, water deeply once or twice a week depending on your local rainfall. Post-planting care. You want to protect your seedlings from wildlife using tree shelters if necessary. Apply mulch around the seedlings to retain moisture and suppress weeds. 
You can also monitor for signs of disease or pest infestations. Avoid fertilizing the first year unless the soil is extremely poor. Remember, longleaf pine seedlings have a unique growth pattern. They'll remain in this grassy stage for two to five years, and that focuses on their root development. After this stage, rapid height growth begins. This slow initial growth was well known to indigenous peoples who incorporated this understanding into their long-term forest management practices. There are many ways you can contribute to longleaf pine conservation. Our program, the Hohe Cultural Burn and Reforestation, is focusing on restoring the longleaf pine ecosystems in our Native American community. If you're a landowner, we are offering resources to help you manage and restore longleaf pine on your property. This includes information on planting, prescribed burns, and financial assistance programs. We also provide guidance on how to honor the historical and cultural significance of your land. We also work with landowners and indigenous communities to implement cultural burning practices. These controlled burns help maintain a healthy longleaf pine ecosystem and preserve the traditional land management techniques as well as bring back the endangered animals that were so important to Native American communities. Even if you don't have a space for longleaf pines, planting native species in your garden can support our broader ecosystem. Consider incorporating plants that have traditional uses in Native American culture. Help spread the word about the importance of longleaf pine ecosystems and their significance to Native American culture. Share this video. Organize an educational event. Many tribes are leading their own conservation and reforestation projects. Look for opportunities to support these initiatives through volunteering and donations. By participating in longleaf pine restoration, you're not just planting trees. You're helping to restore an entire ecosystem and preserve a vital part of our natural and cultural heritage. This work is about ecology, but it's also about honoring the deep connections between these forests and the Native American communities who have been the stewards for millennia. Remember, every seed planted is a step towards restoring the majestic longleaf pine forest and their cultural practices that they support. Whether you're planting a single tree or participating in a larger reforestation effort, your contribution matters. Thank you for watching, and we hope that you'll join us in this important work. For more information or how to get involved, visit our Wakamasuan STEM Studio page and click on Hohe Cultural Burn and Reforestation, or just contact us directly. Together, we can bring back the longleaf pine and all the wonders it supports, ensuring that this vital ecosystem and its cultural significance thrive for generations to come. Happy planting, y'all.